Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, so I'm gonna show you a emulator which is Citra now with the Nokia 5.3. So let's flip the phone and here it is, guys. This is the emulator and it's working fine on a Snapdragon 665, or at least I just say with the Nokia 5.3. So because every device is different than the other. So let's take a look at this. Now this is Zelda, as you can see and you can just change the view and uh, it works really good man here you can see you can uh, use the bottoms here it looks fine you can see the FPS here around 30 FPS stable and uh, it's doing good so far let me just try to give some music so let's see if we have some st stutters or something Okay, there's some small hiccups, but probably because I just increased the. Uh... But so far, it's very, very playable. Sometimes issues with the sound, but if you just go to the setting, you might actually fix it. As you can see, I have the overlay. But you can also you can remove the overlay. You can remove the uh, the overlay here, and to have it to have it fully clear, and you can connect uh, a controller in order to play this game. But uh, you need to go to the setting, work with this. So. You go to the setting here, here you see gamepad, and you can customize these games. Uh, depends on what stick you have or what uh, gamepad that you connected. Probably if you just have a PlayStation 4 controller, you can just play with it. So really good. So graphics, you can just go increase the graphics from 1x to whatever. But since this is a very mid-ranger or lower mid-ranger, uh, you know, graphics and uh, Citra is kind of a bit new so it's better to just stick with the one x but so far it's really good guys it's working fine uh touch screen is also working you can just click on the map click on a gear click on items everything works fine with the etc so let's just go out and try another game okay let's go out and try shin megami tensei now this is very demanding so let's see if i actually can handle this situation here and uh, it's a dark game actually but if you see the FPS here not quite 30 21 so we're not getting the full potential of the emulator here so let's actually show the overlay and uh, let's go back The sound is cutting, so this is probably the lowest you can go with Citra. Like this is the lowest processor you can go with it, because still cutting in some areas. Probably you're gonna go to the setting and try just some stuff. Now that's a cutscene, but as you can see, it's really. Look at this here. It's not quite 30, but... You cannot skip this part. But here you can see the FPS. So just, you know, the good news is that it actually works with the Snapdragon 665 or the Nokia 5.3. And everything is doing great. Thank you guys. See you later.